Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Burrito, and I'm on Kashyyyk, and we're going to be doing finish up some uh, items on Kashyyyk and Mustafar this time because I was a very good Burrito collecting um, them previously. So I don't have that many left, but I am missing some. So let's go get them. Okay, so I have three that I missed out here, which one it looks like I should have gotten which is up near where we did the Avatar prequest. But I guess I missed it. Luckily, I don't have to fight those uh, Black Scale Guards again. Core Strike Ranker is nearby. And then the Strike Lance is in uh, that Wookiee Village. Yeah, Isolationist Wookiee Village. I'm honestly surprised there's not more in this over sec overworld section, but I know I probably grabbed some when I was questing around Kashyyyk earlier. So. Yeah, I can feel that. Bolotar, baby! Those are rare. Because there's not that many Bolotar spawns. Man, they're really trying to tempt me into taming. But I gotta get badges. Alright, so here's the Trade Ocean Hunter's Lance, which maybe I just ignored earlier? Can't see it. Stop. Wait. I wonder if they, like, to make these fish textures, they just ripped photos from, like, a photo library and then stretched photos of fish over it. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they did. That's not a ding. I just like thinking about, like, development, time, and resources and how they're spent. It's, like, similar to, like, thinking about how people generate trees for large open worlds. There's a specific application called, like, 3D tree or something, and it's a software that's just for generating trees in like your game, uh, which is really like cool. But there's a Roru baby, man. There's so many babies out today. Um, I just think stuff like that's neat. It's always interesting to see. And then there's a vulture baby here. I think they're gonna attack me though for grabbing this pistol. Anyway, you know this begs the question: Did I do the quest here? This is a quest from this radio, and it has tried to talk to me. Did I ever do this? Did I miss this one? Because this is a quest. Hello, who is it? I'm looking for the people who are working in the camp. Sorry, there's no one here. What do you mean? Of course, they are around there. Researching the camp's destroyed. There isn't anyone there. Oh, no, I told them Kishik was too dangerous for them to study. The floor on. Are there any sides of them around? Can you please uh, size them? I can't believe I did this, didn't do this one. I swear that I've done this before, but I guess I didn't do it with a thumb. Search for clues. Shit, I don't remember how to do this. Uh-oh. I didn't do this quest, and I forgot how to do it. Damn, I'm a real winner. The drum? Canopy, it looks like a scratch was made. Search for... Who's Lissom? Is that the person on the radio? Uh-oh. <laughs> Surprise quest content, the badge hunting. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember this. La uh, yeah, did you find anything? I've been waiting here hoping for good news. I found the canopy stretched out on a drum. Canopy? Oh, is these the canopy bandits? Yeah, there is a group of bandits that work at the area called the canopy bandits. They have a reputation for being absolutely vicious. I know there's a lot of ass, but can you, you do something else for me? What is it? Find the canopy bandits camp and see if you can find the friends there. They are probably just being held captive for ransom. You know, that's what is bandits do. Not all of them, but I don't know what this camp is. Be it, we are. Please just do go to there. So you can find size of my friends. They're good people. They were just studying the planet on Kishi. Life on the planet. Cool plant life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, search for researchers. I guess we'll do that while I do this. I think the canopy bandits are right over here, though, right? Like, I passed them. They were over here by the bulletars. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they ripped the fishing textures just from, like, one of the other game, like, MMOs at the time. Like, I don't know if any ever EverQuest has them or something. All right, yeah, here are the canopy bandits over by the bulletars. Uh, here are some dead people. Uh, apparently I, you can talk to one of them. All right. Yes, gotta go back. I found a golden locket. I love conversing with dead bodies. They call me the Corpse Whisperer. The PS2 fishing tournament game? No, I mean, I played Bass Fisher on the Dreamcast. 
And I did the big, the cat fishing sections in Sonic Adventure, if that counts. I mean, that's not Sony owned, but it's basically that neither of those are Sony owned. That's just my fishing experience. The radio does say that would come in. I have some, I'm having trouble hitting her there. Yeah, I'm back from the camp. So, did you find any friends? Are they all right? Sorry, I found their bodies. So, they are dead. Oh, Jillian. I told them not to go. I know there's a lot of ass, but you could perhaps do one more thing. And when you make those bands pay, pay for what they did, my friends Jillian. I don't know about that. Like, revenge usually doesn't work out. Listen, there's a case in the camp the bandits probably didn't take because it looks worthless. If you kill them, the bandits, open the code. Yeah, sure. I'll do it with pleasure. So now we can go kill them because I don't, honestly, this seems in character for them. She would totally kill for money considering all the one murder that she's done so far in this adventure. You fished in many MMO. Yeah, I mean, obviously I fished in galaxies. I fished in, I fished in more JRPGs than I have in actual fishing games. It's like an unspoken rule that every JRPG needs a fishing side game. Which, uh, you know, sometimes is a blessing, sometimes is a curse. More so the latter, in my opinion. Does Persona have fishing? I don't know. My Persona expert's busy and satisfactory right now. I'll make sure to put that question within some point, point though. Uh, I know, though, like, basically... Listen, I had to fish in near Automata to get the true ending. That's basically as much misery as I can, like, say about fishing in JRPGs. I didn't play near Automata to fish. I played it to hack and slash and have an existential crisis. And while those were the two things I mainly did, the fact that I had a fish for any period of time, that's an L. <laughs> the Jekyll baby vulture I killed is back already. Man, they really want me to tame today. Anyways, we're back with the radio. Uh, Give me the code. I did what you asked. 25854. They don't know what they're gonna do now. Um, I don't, I don't know. Not whatever this is. Wow, I actually have to enter it. Two, five, eight, five, four. Enter. What did I get? I got the Jawa Ion Pistol. Oh, that's where you get this weapon skin from. That's right. I forgot. This is a unique weapon skin. Right? Pretty sure it is. You know, I'm a weaponsmith, but I still don't remember. I think so. Ah, huh, well, this is, a. Uh, I I mean, this wouldn't change my tier list rating of the uh, quest around Kashyyyk, but this would be definitely a quest to do. Anyways, I should get back to badge hunting. <laughs> I gotta go get the Strike Assault Lance. You know what? Actually, I'm next to the Riot. I should probably go into the Riot and do that while I'm up here, so I'm gonna drive all the way back up here, huh? Because I am missing one item in the Riot? Wow, a lot of people in the Riot. Probably not questing. <laughs> okay, so the one item I missed in the Riot, it was a, the Void, which is in the Shadowed Lands. That's not right. That's not the Shadowed Lands. Resource spawn? There was one a little bit ago. I don't know if it's still active, though. It was like a Kashyyyk. I want to say it was a rice or a corn or something. Uh, this waypoint, I guess I copy and paste it wrong. It says it's in the Shadowlands, though, so I'm just going to come down here. Uh, it's supposedly near the Droidicas that are guarding the wreckage. I'm going to kill Lobar. Uh, so I mentioned this when we were questing on Kashyyyk, but people always AFK farm this guy, and I don't know why. He must drop something of value. So... I'm just going to destroy him just because. Luckily, I think I remember where the Droidicas are. I think they're down here to the southwest of the Shadowlands. I think that's where they are with the wreckage. They're right because you enter in the northwest. So I think they're down here. Yeah. Abandoned battle droids. Should be over here if the note is accurate. I think it's past these guys. You know, these guys are probably going to aggro me. No? Honestly, it's a little surprised. Okay, here's the wreckage. There's the weapon. Uh, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta beat some of these guys up, and they're tough. So let's, uh, let's activate some power-ups here and my crystal buffs. 
All right. Let's just go whole hog. Usually when I see the Riot Trail full of people, I just assume it's people AFK grinding, even though the credit earnings were nerfed in the Riot Trail, I believe, when they did the economy adjustment, which I think was good. Okay, we got the Void. Cool, all right, so the waypoint was wrong for some reason. It, so the waypoint was right. Negative 340, negative 159. It just generated the wrong zone. I guess you have to be in the Shadowlands and then generate it. Well, when I mouse over with the cursor, it says 449.78. What? Dude, I don't know what's wrong with this map, but it's effed. Uh, let me let me try. Uh, four forty one seventy seven. Where'd that even go? What the? F Why is it over there? What? I, I don't. I don't know anything about it. Uh, this is sp let's let's use the mystical stone to get out of the spaghetti code nightmare. Okay, we're back, we're back in Kashiro. Let's uh let's go get the strike assault lands. Uh luckily I don't need to go back into Edie. I just need to go back into Dead Forest after this. Because apparently I missed one in there. You love Kashyyyk? Me too. There's some things about it that, you know, are weird like that, but it's got one of my favorite quests on it, so can't hate it. Alright, uh a healthy looking Wookiee. Hi, how's it going? I guess like you could come here and enslave them or something. I don't know why else. Hi guys. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I just know they're going to get mad as soon as I click this. So let's just wait. Wait. Okay. Got it. Alright, let's go to the dead forest. I wish I could like ally with this Wookiee village and fight against the Trandoshans, but no. I just gotta be a big old bad slaver. Yeah, I think Rage of the Wookiees was a cool expansion. I like the design philosophy of the quest content. And while the world can be... Um, maybe not the most fun to traverse for some players, I think it's still overall more interesting. I'm not sure if I'd say it's better than Mustafar. Mustafar has definitely aged a bit better than Kashyyyk has. Uh, in terms of, like, overall reward and content structure and narrative. I think the writing on Mustafar was overall better. Kashyyyk still has my favorite story with the Rage of the Wookiees badge plot. But I think overall Mustafar had better writing. Because there's a lot of good side world building and stuff. Ah, you guys sucking sucking the earth of its fruits? Good luck to you. I got the vibe right. Lots of good movies in Kashyyyk too. Yeah, the problem with this game though is like the problem with a lot of uh, Star Wars games, uh, where if you go back and listen to their soundtracks, it's mostly just Star Wars music, which is like understandable because John Williams scores are iconic, especially in the case of Star Wars, but. I appreciate when games go out of the way to compose new tracks that are for that title specifically. Yeah, there's a lot of remix stuff in it, uh, but it's mostly like just Star Wars music or remix Star Wars music or Star Wars music on short loops. Like a really good example is the combat music in space. It's just the um, asteroid uh, tr track music from Empire Strikes Back. Like when Han, Chewie, Leia, the gang are escaping the Empire through the asteroid belt and they land in the big worm. It's just that track on loop. It's like that section of it repeatedly. Um, but they probably didn't have the budget for like compositions or something for this. They're just like, here, just take the Lucas Sound Library and use what you want. And I, I can't blame them for that. And that's not only a cost saving measure, but it's also kind of like a no brainer. Like we're making a Star Wars game. Let's use the John Williams music if we can. So, but like, I appreciate games like, um, it, we're looking more recently, uh, Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor having very Star Wars e compositions, but then being 
you know, new, adding new motifs and stuff. Um, I haven't listened to the Outlaw soundtrack, but Ubisoft usually does a pretty good job. Uh, but working at older, I know people, some people are very fond of the KOTOR music, reasonable. Uh, Republic Commando, that's, that is probably one of the most praiseworthy soundtracks, just for how bold they were. They're like, all right, so we got to do this like Mandalorian chanting aesthetic and we got to go hard on it. And I'm like, very bold of you. <laughs> and it worked. It's cool as fuck. <laughs> That's such a baller soundtrack, and it's so atmospheric and so good for the game. Like if they just used John Williams music, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same game. Also, we got the Sim the Heart Striker here in the Outlaw, uh, or out Outcast Village, not the Outlaw Village. Uh oh, my brain. Okay, well that's all the stuff on Gashik. Let's go uh, skippy skippy skip over to Mustafar and uh, grab a few that I missed there. Wait, I got a stone. Why am I walking? Good number of the Star Wars games for the 2000. Yeah, exactly. You're in. Which again, I can't blame them. Cost saving and, you know, this is Star Wars music. Kind of music you're banging though. You always turn it off when you can. Fair. Uh, the same loops do get annoying. Rebel Commando music. Uh, I wish I could use more of it in my videos, but it's so heavy. <laughs> the chanting's so heavy. That's all you, that's all that comes through on it. It's just <laughs> like the Mando chanting. <laughs> Uh, Star Wars Squad, Ultra Sound, and Star Wars Squadrons, they got some good music, uh, for that game. Which, honestly, I didn't really expect Squadrons to have a unique soundtrack, given it was kind of like... It was a AAA release, but it was definitely, a more focused in scope. Um, I, I don't think, like, it didn't release for 60 bucks, right? It didn't release for, like, 40 or something? I don't remember. Uh, but they actually have a nice soundtrack. Okay, we're on Mustafar. Um, I missed these five things uh i have not missed any in the instances i double checked on that one i didn't miss any in the instances i am shocked i didn't get this carbine though because i know this carbine i always point it out when i'm doing this quest with the people i'm like get the carbine so this might be one where i just accidentally forgot it or i just added it to the list but it's right here outside the men six facility so let's just, just grab it while we're here they do XG, HD texture for it or something. Republic Commando. Yeah, I got re-released um, on Switch. I've heard mixed reviews. Oh, yeah. And uh, of course, I already have this one. So I guess I messed that up. Well, anyways, let's go head out to... I guess we'll just go to the crash site. What am I looking for here? Uh, what? Rare Pistol Collection 3, number 10. Am I, ga am I getting gaslit? Where is this thing? Is this Waypoint? I copy. I know I copied this one correctly. Oh, the URG-8 pistols inside the Old Republic Research Facility. That's why this Waypoint's messed up. I just didn't write down that note, or it wasn't on the page that I copied it from. I do have to go into an instance. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that later. Oh, let me go to Tolris Isle, I guess. Anyways, I'm at the Malevolent Bowcaster. <laughs> I like when the Tolris lay down, by the way. They look like potatoes. Look at that. Look at that potato. They're just a potato. Straight up potated. Are they baked potatoes because they're on the lava planet? Someone just said the line in the center office. Some of the changes are so easy to implement. Take a shot, dude. If you took a shot every time, if you like had a drinking game where you went through and you just control F that phrase inside Senate chat, um, you die of alcohol poisoning. Like I was just talking about yesterday that some people are like, I wish atmospheric flight was on. I don't know why the devs don't do it. It's just flipping a switch. And I'm just like, it's not that easy. <laughs> All right. So we're here at um, the camp where that one taller shows up and tries to kill you. I think I did that quest. Yeah, I should have. It's kind of a whatever quest, so I just don't remember doing it. But apparently I didn't pick up the lifeblood cleaver, which is stuck in between the legs of this dying miner. My headcanon is they were trying to use the axe against the Taurus and then slipped fell on their axe. But uh... wait, dying, so you're not dead? Can I not help them? No, I guess they're just fated to stay here and die. Crush under the boot of... Rapid Mustafari and capitalism, I guess. Rip. Well, 
Uh, let's go to the over research facility. Atmosphere's flight is dumb. The way it was implemented live was dumb, but they just did it as a like yellow ha hail mary. So like that's fine. And um, but like I I always like we were talking about it. I think I was talking about Ryan yesterday. If they re implemented atmosphere flight, it'd have to be in a zone designed for it. You like Bestman? Only issue you have is the terrain outside being tough to navigate. Otherwise, it's awesome. Yeah, I think like if the roads were easier to see, it wouldn't be so bad. I'm used to it now, having done the Bespin quest line three times and done collection hunting there. But that's like a lot of dry. And but like at that point, there's no really reason for me to drive around the planet anymore. So now that I'm used to it, I don't need to. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's also some parts where you like you think you could fly over with a jetpack, but you can't. But that's just also, you know, a trend throughout the game too. So it's not really a design fault of Bespin. That might just be a quirk of the game. I like I'd agree that like, you know, there's not a lot of return power for Bespin once you've completed the content there. The other credit rewards for doing Bespin. Yeah, it, it is good. It's a good level 90 thing. Like it has moderate difficulty. If you have a if you have a hard time with the bosses, invite a friend and then you get a bunch of credits and then you have fun with a buddy. Yeah, I like the arena too, especially since you can do it in singles, du duos or fours. You don't need a group of eight. I kind of would like if I was developing content, I would definitely like try and implement more like small heroics. Like I would like if I was to redo the Cor Curly and Corvette, I'd make it a four person instance. You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't let you take in more than four people, but it's balanced around those four people. OK, so I'm going into the older public facility right now. Here I am, because apparently the the pistol that I miss is in here. So I lied. I missed one in an instance. Uh, it's down here. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to turn on the power and stuff, huh? OK, well, good thing I've only done this a million times. <laughs> is it on floor two or floor three? It's in here. Ah, uh, no wonder I didn't spot it. It was shoved away in the corner. And every time I'm in here, like, I just try and speed run it. That, this might piss off the lava fleas. Well, they can come to me if they want some. No, interestingly, it pissed off the droid in the hallway. All right, there's no world map for here. I gotta go in here to delete the waypoint. I got the Urg pistol. Yay! That's an easy one to miss, actually. I don't think I've ever noticed that there. Like I have no memory of ever getting that one before, so well hidden. I'll give I'll give whoever put that one there their their W. Yeah, I think the quests on Bestman are really good. My only complaint is maybe like the scale. Like I do feel like some areas were too big, especially in the Wingard HQ. But I I've I've levied my critiques before. They're on YouTube. <laughs> but it's definitely like I I rated them pretty high on the tier list, I think. So definitely some of the better content. And definitely some of the better writing. It's nice to have people who actually give a shit <laughs> write quests rather than Lord knows how many of these Star Wars Galaxies quests I've done where it's just like, Shup, sh sup shithead, go lick some rocks for eight times, you know, like whoever wrote it was a Q like a distressed QA or who didn't have time or any shits to give. I'm mad about it, it's fine. Well, I'm glad that you have you find a way to get your kicks, right? Imagine hiding some of these was fun. Uh, they they probably just had a QA or go and throw them around using a GM character. It was probably better than QAing otherwise. But yeah, it was probably fun compared to like what you normally had to do. I appreciate that some of them are like in throwback locations to so like unmarked POIs, like that crash speeder unlock that I went to, or that uh, crash shuttle, or that like crash pirate shuttle. Like places that you normally wouldn't go to anymore in NGE, but they like, or like POIs that you normally don't have a reason to visit, and they go like, "Hey, this place is here," you know. It's like, "Oh yeah," I mean, I'm never gonna go back to those places because there's nothing to do there other than click the thing and leave. But it's cool seeing them again, I guess. I'm sure it's a nostalgia trip for people who used to play pre C U and C U, you know, up to the NGE change when some of those uh, point of interest areas were relevant for questing. I'm sure every MMO is somebody's hell. Whether from your player side, a dev side, or a gray market side, like currency grinding. Uh, speaking of grinding, shout out to Cinderclaw. Just a random name, Jundak, that I don't think does anything interesting. Just one of those. He's just a little guy. Uh, Cinderclaw is bigger than a little dude, but 
I will say that he's a little guy that got hit with the ugly stick a couple of times. Jundaks are not pretty. Okay, this one, the Malevolent Obsidian Sword is near the ruins that you go to for Trials of Obi-Wan's uh, conclusion. Uh, okay, it's there. Probably gonna have to just defeat some uh, crazed treasure hunters, or excuse me, mindless treasure hunters. So they're mindless treasure hunters. Have their minds been like muddled by the dark side energies going on here? Or are they just like mindless as in there's not thinking and they're just on autopilot? Uh, put your votes in the comments section. Gonna wait, gonna wait, gonna wait, gonna wait, gonna click it. I did it. All right, that should be um, all the ones I got. I missed on Mustafar and Kashyyyk. Um, let me know what you thought of also the surprise side quest that I guess I forgot existed. That was a hoot. And we're going to keep exploring planets. Woohoo.